What do you do when your child swears, spits, and is out of control? What, what is the answer? Meet five desperate families for whom life with their little Stop ones it. has become a 24-hour living hell. Stop! No, gee, Angie. I'm exhausted all the time. To totally all the time. OK, I tell you, what's going to make you stop? No! Oh, no! Shit! I mean, you either crack up or you keep going, and so far I've kept going. No, you're not. No, you are not. I know it's me undoing that, you know, I've brought him up this way and stuff. No! No! no. I am a lot to blame with Cameron's. Don't you? No, I don't think we... either of us are to blame, to be honest. Don't you? Yeah. No, I don't, know. <laughs> After the tantrums, the next thing comes up. <laughs> oh, it was just done that on purpose, because I've said no to chocolate. Don't even think about it. She's like the devil's child. We've tried everything. Um, and we're running out of ideas. It could be anything, really, that can just trigger him off. No! No, 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 you've made your choice. Well, come and get them then, please, like I've asked you to. She's a fucking tall little shit. I don't think I'm a good parent at all, actually. Most days. Do you think you're funny? He's Dump. literally spalled her off, he's drawn all over it, he's pulled the blinds to pieces. I'd done that one where he was really pushing and I thumped the door. Yeah? And I'd rather thump the door than the child. Move now! No! No! Do you want to go to bed? No! So be quiet, honest, we ain't coping. Hey! We're not coping with Aaron. In a bid to regain control, these five families have signed on to an intensive parenting course run by a world expert in child behaviour, Professor Matt Sanders. Look, I mean, just don't expect instant change, not so much in the kids, but the hard bit is for you guys to be able to change. It's going to require commitment and time. They've got eight weeks to retrain themselves as parents and turn family life around. Shut why can't children be like dogs, eh? <laughs> no. Jane and Philip Lees live in Wakefield with daughter Heidi and son Cameron. You said you were going to brush his teeth. Phil's job as an IT security consultant means he often works away from home for days at a time, leaving Jane to take care of the kids. Wow, that was really good. <laughs> I don't want to for it. Daily life with Cameron it's is a constant down. battle. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. Say sorry to look what you've done to her. Cameron, can you say sorry to Heidi, please? <laughs> Just before he was two, that's when I realised that he was getting a little bit naughty. But then I just put that down to terrible twos, like everyone says to you, oh, going through a terrible two stage. Um, and I just thought it was that. And then as time went on a bit more, it just seemed to get worse. No! Cameron's really, really violent. He'll kick me, he'll punch me, um, try headbutting me, he'll get his toys, throw his toys on the floor. Um, destroy his bedroom. Yeah, destroy, if you tell him off, yeah. he just goes straight upstairs, ransack the bedroom, you know. <laughs> No! <laughs> bribery tends to work. Yeah, bribery. You know, and it's a really bad thing to say. Um, but, you know, you can pretty much guarantee a complete change of mood if you say, look, come on, we'll go to the shop and get you one of these little chocolate football men things. In the last two months, the Lees have spent over £150 on the chocolate football men. You got it this one. I buy Cameron a present every day. I don't know, a couple of pounds or... I must admit, I didn't realise it was every day, so... Yeah, I buy Cameron... I get him something nearly every day. Right. Um, I know. 
Jane's present buying for Cameron is spiralling out of control, making tasks like the weekly shop a real drama. No, yeah, no toys today. Mum, I'm deciding what tomorrow. No. I'm deciding what tomorrow. Don't Lee. hurt Lee. me. Don't. Lee. Lee. Get off. Stop it! Look, other people are looking Stop at me. Stop it! Stop it! Give up. Stop it! Please, Mummy. Get out, please. Listen, then. You won't touch if I let you get out, will you? No. Come on, then. Inevitably, he heads straight for the toy aisle. I hate this aisle. Yeah, I want something to do. You can just have a look, but you can't have anything. Mm -hmm. let me have um, I'll be good. You'll be good, will you, if you yeah. have one of those? Yeah. A lot of people could turn around and say, oh, yeah, you know, it's weird that you're bringing Cameron up. But until you've lived in a house with a child like Cameron, People don't realise how hard it is to say no. No, another day. Put it back, love. Oh. Come on, then. Yeah. Come on. Ow. Hey! Go. Hey! Hey! He's gone. He's disappeared, he's run off somewhere. Cameron! Listen. Another day. Come on. Cameron! He said, I ain't even got to be shopping done. Can't get it finished. Cameron's performance is nothing new. And yet another shopping trip is cut short. Pissed off. It's so embarrassing all the time. So embarrassing. Later that day, Jane felt so guilty she bought Cam three chocolate football men. It's 7 p.m. in Hertfordshire. An executive oh, PA, Paula Harris, has just got home from work. That's a nice welcome. It is a bit like there's two Paulas. Um, there's the work Paula and there's the uh, mummy at home Paula. Angus is looked after by an au pair until single mum Paula gets home. Yeah, I mean, I had the transition of the train to just try and brace myself for what I'd regard as another job when I come home of looking after Angus. Hi, oh God, will you stop throwing things at me? Okay, I tell you what's gonna make you stop. Jesus Christ, Angus! He misses me. It's like he's punishing me because he misses me. But then, you know, huge no, amounts of parents stop. work. Now, stop. And I don't believe that every single working parent out there, single parent or not, gets punished to this degree by their child. Mind your little toes, OK? Angus has been diagnosed with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD. It's a condition that may now affect half a million children in the UK. To try and control Angus's tantrums, he takes the drug Ritalin. Angus, that is enough! Do you want any... I swear to God, that's enough. I want him off the medication, but... You know, he was terrible, absolutely uncontrollable beforehand. At least he is semi-controllable at the moment. Angus, you have to stop! You're destroying my plants! Let go of it. No. I don't want to fight over this. And the mummy, I need to make a hole. You do not need to make a hole. <laughs> I do. Oh, listen, you are upsetting me. I did tell you a minute. You kick me. You kick me, you go to bed. I don't like it. Oh, you have to just stop. This is enough. This is enough, OK? I like enough. it. I like it. Mostly enough. Mostly. It's just constant. Mostly. No, you cannot watch TV! No, you cannot! I need it on me! No, you don't. I Get do. off of it! I do! Now, you're pushing me! And it takes a phenomenal amount to push me! I can't live like this! Get upstairs! 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 
That's all right. That's all right. The Wall family so. live in Romford in Essex. Parents Gary and Tracy have been married for nine years and have That's four it. children. Oh. You're not going outside. What's wrong with your tyre? Oh. I lack parenting skills. My children, yeah, with me, they take me as a soft touch. You got something. This is Dan's. Tracy is a full-time mum, and Gary is a builder by trade. But with little work around, he's spending a lot of time at home. And it's not happy families. Don't keep slapping your mother. That's your lot, boy. Don't leave me again. Don't take it out on Emily. It's not her fault. Their biggest problem is five-year-old Aaron. Stop it now. Stop it. Stop it. So be quiet. We ain't coping. We're not coping with Aaron. I give in to him. I give in to him. No. Yeah? And because I give in to him, me and my wife start arguing. What the fuck are you doing to you, shouldn't I? That was one over the top, wasn't it? Will you fucking fry me? That was one over the top, it is so full power like that. Yeah, will you fucking fry me? He's only a child. I don't care. No, you don't seem to do you? Aaron's behaviour is driving a wedge between his parents. Yeah, you don't seem yeah. to care, do you? Exactly. Yeah, I usually have a go at Gary yeah. for not, like, for, like, cuddling them, cos I always say, no, you don't cuddle them. Once they've been told off, that's it. You leave them to get over it. End of. I've said oh, no, and I that's don't. it. Another major concern for the walls is their youngest son, Kieran, who is now copying Aaron's behaviour. <laughs> My little son, Kieran, who's only two, uh, we were in a, a local bank paying a bill. He's actually started swearing. And uh, a member of the public actually turned around and said, I wonder where he gets that from. And me and my wife actually got the impression that uh, he was blaming the parents. I then sort of pretty sternly said to the member of the public, uh, it's not our fault, mate. He's got a five-year-old brother that he copies. This is Professor Matt Sanders. He's travelled from his home in Australia to take on the challenge of our five families. Every child in this place is staring at you, thinking, who's the weirdo? I'm not the weirdo! Professor Sanders is the creator of Triple P, a parenting programme used around the world. What? Stop it! These parents are among the first in the UK to try it. Being a parent really is one of the most important and difficult jobs that there is to do, but it's also one of the most rewarding ones. But it's not surprising that some of us struggle along the way. Is it my fault, you know? What parent's got an handbook to tell you that you're a perfect parent? What I would like, yeah? Somebody to show me the right way of discipline. Let's go. Let's Professor go. Sanders believes within eight weeks he can help these families change their lives. These are tough cases, but they're typical of the kinds of problems that are experienced by many families. But the good news is that there are simple and practical strategies that parents can use in dealing with these day-to-day -day problems with their kids. Can you stop it? He's got his work cut out. In the morning, he'll begin the first of just five sessions to retrain these parents. Meanwhile, it's time for everyone to get a good night's sleep. Don't think about it. But in these homes, that's easier said than done. Bedtime is one area where they all hope for change. <laughs> you every single your stuff up. Oh, God, yeah. Stop it! In Paula's house, Angus has decided sleep is not an option. Oh, Mr. Miss Mog, come on. <laughs> right, could you get into bed now? Three, four, five, six. Hey, Mum, I want it this way. No, it's fine as it is. Hello. No, because it means yeah. putting all the tele... No! Yeah. Then there's no film. Please, 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 There's no film. Yeah. Seriously, I have not had a solid night's sleep since before he was born. It's Ang, stop. I don't want to Do you want me to turn it on or not? Fine, forget it then. We'll just go downstairs and we'll just have cups of tea and I'll just leave you to scream. Pack it in the perrier. Aaron! As for the bedtime routine at the Walls house, well... There isn't one. Mike, I should be in bed. It's nine o'clock. 
right, all right. I just said. All right, have a For Jane Lees, getting Cameron into bed isn't a problem. Getting him to stay there is another matter. Cameron. Cameron. <laughs> Lay down, please. Cameron. There you go, then what video are we putting on? Cameron. <laughs> Sit down and behave. We went through a, a stage where, in about seven weeks, I had maybe one full night's sleep. And all of the rest, all of the time, we was up. Get into bed. Now. Angie, come on, for God's sakes, calm down. Yet another of Paula's evenings is spent up in Angus's bedroom. Get away! I know, but you're being... Get away! I'm going to hit you with your heart. You're going to hit me, OK? I will. Now, just calm down, OK? I've had some nasty injuries in the past, so you know. Stupid. Black eyes, bruised legs. Stupid, stupid, <laughs> My legs stupid. have only just cleared up from bruises. <laughs> Giving you anything else to eat, Angus? Uh, my stomach says I'm hungry. <sighs> oh, for God's sakes! I'll get a bloody rice cake then. Uh, <gasps> I will fall. There you go. All right, bed. Turn the light down, Tracy. Turn the light down. Sake that fucking kid. It's every night, they will not go to sleep. That's why you should go up to bed to sleep, not lay down here. The wall children are, at last, asleep, but not in their beds. I'm really upset. All right, Mummy's very ill. I've got... My skin is all cracking up. It's taken four pulse. hours to calm Angus down, but he's finally tucked up in bed with his TV for company. It's got to a point where I'm literally falling apart. An exhausted Paula tries to grab some sleep. Come in. It's up past three, my mate. It's now the early Stay hours down. of the morning in Wakefield, and Jane is up again with Cameron. You've got to sleep there. To get him to stay in bed, Jane resorts to bribery in the form of the chocolate football men. Oh, I think you've got a new castle one. Um, with the parents getting an average of just four hours sleep a night, things can't go on as they are. <laughs> It's the first day of the course. The Lees, Walls and Paula Harris are joined by two other families. Professor Sanders gets straight down to business. Welcome, everyone, to Positive Parenting. It's so great to have you here. Now, tell me, why are you here? Mm -hmm. I just can't take him anywhere. OK. Um, I'd like to go shopping. The course will consist of five classes, homework and a series of phone calls to give the parents extra support. Probably the main focus of today's activity is to really look at the question of where do behaviour problems come from? How do we best understand why our children are behaving in the way they are? When a child This gets week, the parents must put their family life like under the microscope. No, I said no. I said no. Oh, Elizabeth, you've just had everything. Stop picking your bum. <laughs> For this purpose, two fixed cameras have been installed in their homes to record daily life. No. Come and sit to the table now, then. This is now yeah. Reviewing the footage is difficult for the parents, but it could help them face their shortcomings. Come on, we're going. One of the key things you need to always ask yourself is this. What does my child get out of behaving in the way they do? Sure, Cam. When a child is misbehaving, they usually accidentally and unintentionally on the part of the parent get an audience for that behaviour. Sometimes it can be a laugh, a smile, sometimes it can be getting what they want, sometimes it can be because the other person backs down. And so a youngster who's learned that misbehaviour produces results is more likely to, to do it in the future. OK, so let's look at the uh, next example and then you can tell us what's happening. Yes. Right. Right, don't want him. I'll tie you no. in the chair, son. No. You want it, you eat it. No. No, I'm taking it off here. I'm no. taking it off. I'll never done that you for yourself. No. 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 Fuck off. 
You sit on the table as I take it off you and it goes in the bin. Do you hear me? There it is. Chair. <laughs> no. Right, let's eat it. OK, just have a sort of a think back to what happened and what did you pick up there? Right. To tell the truth, I mean, in this group, looking at that, I feel embarrassed the way mm -hmm. I handled that situation, mm -hmm. yeah? I, I believe I gave in to him by taking it off the table, then putting it back on the table, okay. from what I can see. I find that he gives in to him easily more. If that was me, I would have just took it off him, end of, and not given it back to him at all. I mean, yeah. I give in yeah. sometimes, because yeah. I want yeah. him to have his dessert, and yeah. I feel really bad about throwing it. Yeah. So, because I could just, yeah. yeah. We're not talking about quick fixes here. We're not talking about making instant changes to the things that you're doing. It's inviting you to reflect on what you're doing. And then the hard bit is for you guys to be able to change. It's actually This week, they've had a gentle introduction. What we're doing in... The real test will come in future weeks when the parents have to learn how to praise their children Put down the phone and go over to him and say, thanks, Aaron, for letting Mummy talk on the phone. Let's just grow like that, see? Let's, Aaron, uh, thank you, Aaron, for playing nicely while Mummy was talking on the phone. <laughs> Come here. How to discipline... <laughs> sit there and... No! ..and how to deal with high-risk situations. No, we don't want those, so if you could put those back... It's amazing. Hopefully, within the coming weeks, it will change. I hope it changes. Obviously, he's not going to change on his own. I uh, mean, his mother has got to change as well. One thing's for sure, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Annie, can you just calm down, love? Can they last the course? <laughs>